All right, we're going to take a look at Logan's um, December 5th, 2013 analysis here. Um, and you'll see him running full speed there, half speed here. And you're going to notice a lot of things. We're going to try to work our way down from the top going down uh, to the bottom. And the first thing we're going to look at is just his arm separation. Um, at the beginning, it's a little more than towards the end. Uh, but you still see here how they have the arm is fully unhinged. Um, we want to keep that in an L shape, um, more like the left arm is there, uh, which which will help us drive the momentum forward. Um, and that separation can cause a lot of like east-west type movement um, where we need everything to be uh, more north and south. Um, so as you kind of see him rotate forward, you can kind of keep an eye on his on his arms and kind of just kind of watch how he um, how he uses them. And going forward here, some more. We're gonna take a look again at the upper body. Here. We're going to stop it and you'll take a look at his right arm, how it's cuffed across his body. Um, and again, that's creating that east-west movement. The hand needs to get all the way up to the eye and then drive back um, in a hip-to-pocket motion. And with his hand being across his body that way, he's never going to be able to do that. Um, also, which I told you about, he has a bad uh, kind of problem with kind of hunching down and leaning forward. Um, now, there's a time to do that during the drive phase, but he does it throughout the entire run. And what that does is it, it pushes the knees into the ground and it, it basically makes it hard to, to have a good knee drive phase because he's leaning over them. Um, so we want to get him to do that, uh, stop doing that, because that can also cause like, a lot of balance issues as well. So, um, so we'll take a look here going forward. And we'll stop it about 11 yards here. And we're going to notice a few things. First thing is he's striking on the outside heel of his foot. And then he kind of rolls it in. We want to get him to land on the ball of the foot and have it be more of a, a straight um, angle. If you notice, his leg is straight and then his foot is totally off. Um, and and that, that can cause injuries, missteps, or um, and, and then it slows you down. Another big problem he has is he tucks his legs and behind each other. Um, each leg has a, has a lane, a left lane, a right lane. They need to drive straight up and straight through uh, and not behind. So the lower body is hard to fix, harder to fix, but we'll definitely work on it. And this gives us a, um, a good starting point on what we need to focus on with him. Going forward a little bit more, uh, we're gonna take a look at his uh, vertical. Um, he scored a 16 on his vertical. Um, and his technique is needs some work and we'll work on that, but power equals speed and we want him to have as much power as possible. Um, and you'll notice here, he kind of lands a little bit off balance here. Um, and we'll, we'll help him perfect that a little bit better. Broad jump, he jumped a five foot on his broad jump, which is, is decent. Um, again, power equals speed. So we want the, the, the vertical and the standing broad jump to be just you know as high as we could possibly get it. That'll help him have that first step explosive quickness um, that we're kind of looking for. Uh, we're also gonna take a look at his lateral movement. He stands a little too tall, um, and there's a few techniques that we're going to work on him with. He's kind of opening his hips, and there's some different things that we can help him with to help him speed that up. Uh, we're going to take a look at his scores. Um, everything's kind of just right down the middle. Uh, I like to see that lateral go up. His 10 and 20 need to, need to, need to go down. Uh, and one of the major things that we talked about that I told you is that his flexibility is real poor. We need to work on that um, from an injury prevention standpoint, but also from a speed standpoint. So um, uh, if you're flexible, you're quicker. Um, so we're going to work on that and also focus on upper body and lower body strength as well as core strength. 